Hey, what up you guys? This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. In this video, I'm going to be showing off my uh, Full Moon collection. Ever since watching the Puppet Master movies, I've been kind of on a Full Moon kick. Right, first up is the uh, newest Puppet Master movie, Blade the Iron Cross, which uh, I gotta say is pretty good. This is my third favorite in the uh, Puppet Master series. And this is just like a Blade solo movie, but it's really good. Check this out on uh, Tubi if you get a chance, or Full Moon Streaming if you get that. Or pick up the DVD blind. Alright, next up is uh, Slave Girls from Beyond Infinity. And this was actually, I think this was an Empire picture, but it's put out now by Full Moon. Yeah. Haven't watched it yet. They actually sent me this for free when I ordered the um, this Full Moon art book down here. Alright, next up is one of my favorites, and this is a crazy one. Um, this is weird that this is even put out by Full Moon, but I always thought that was interesting. Uh, I guess it's just distributed by them. It might be a co-production, but see, this says Edge Entertainment. And um, this is a sequel to the movie Freeway that uh, Oliver Stone produced. This is written and directed by Matthew Bright, who um, wrote a couple Full Moon movies himself. Um, yeah, this one is awesome. Check this out if you get a chance. This is on 2B2. All right, next up we got Dollman. Uh, this is a classic one, um, but I have actually never seen the whole thing i've seen like half of it and uh i think i fell asleep late at night and just never finished it but yeah dial man gotta rewatch this all right next up is dark angel the ascent this is actually my favorite full moon movie i love the depiction of hell in this this is my my favorite depiction of hell in any movie ever so this is also written by matthew bright who wrote um the freeway movies i never hear anyone talk about this but to me, this is the best full moon movie. Dark Angel, The Ascent. All right, next up we got Shadow Zone. Haven't really seen this yet. Look at this chicken, this thing. I only watched like half of this before. And um, it says uh, James Hong in it. Um, the lady who played Nurse Ratchet. And also uh, Miguel Nunes Jr. from um, Return of the Living Dead is in this thing. This was a decent one. Um, I gotta finish it. I only seen like half of it. Next up we got Dead Hate the Living like kind of a weird zombie movie people that go into like a different dimension and they're zombies um i think yeah this is only distributed by full moon i don't think they this was a full moon production but oh this one is also yeah kushner and Locke and full moon releasing so same as freeway 2 freeway 2 is also uh kushner and Locke. all right next up we got robot wars haven't watched this one yet but i picked this up for a dollar back in the day at my uh, video store and um I think it's maybe a sequel of Robot Jacks. Robot Jacks was an awesome one directed by a Stuart Gordon. Yeah, it says first there was Robot Jacks, now there's Robot Wars. I don't know if it's a separate movie or what. It's got Barbara Crampton in it. But yeah, I gotta check this out. Alright, next up we got Shrunken Heads. This is also one of my favorite Full Moon movies. This was like almost tied with um, Dark Angel. This one's a lot like goofier and sillier and stuff. But as you can see, they, they wanted to make it clear that it wasn't a kid's movie. So it's like a rated R sticker on there. And this is also written by uh, Matthew Bright and um, directed by Richard Elfman, Danny Elfman's brother. And they made um, a movie back in the day called uh, Forbidden Zone. But yeah, this is about um, three kids that get killed by the mob and then... A voodoo priest brings them back as shrunken heads, and now they're out for revenge. <laughs> Very goofy movie. And you could pick up the uh, soundtrack on Moonstone Records. Alright, next up we got Castle Freak. Saw this for the first time about a year ago. Loved it. This is with um, Barbara Crampton and Jeffrey Combs. And uh, Stuart Gordon directed this, who directed, you know, Reanimator. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a like, freak in a castle on the loose and um it's an hp lovecraft adaptation yeah this movie's awesome all right so next up we got the uh puppet master 12 movie collection or um nine movie puppet master collection and three movie killjoy collection so definitely not the best uh quality it's like pretty bad compressed images of vhs rips next up we got a uh, subspecies part four and i actually haven't seen um any of the subspecies movies yet but yeah, part four here they're really good i'm gonna check them out three pack uh doll graveyard demonic toys part two and worry dolls 
uh, Warrior Dolls looks kind of cool to me. Um, I tried watching Demonic Toys Part 2 and I really wasn't into it. Doll Graveyard is, I hear, it's like all of the excess puppets that are just mixed together, I think. And this also has um, When Puppets and Dolls Attack on it, which is like a clip show. So it's really a four pack. Alright, next up we got the subspecies 1, 2, and 3. Three pack. Need to check these out. All right, next up we got Intruder. This was not a uh, Full Moon movie at first, but it's being distributed by Full Moon. Very awesome 80s slasher movie. With um, takes place in a grocery store, and it's um, made by people that were friends with Sam Raimi, and so it's kind of got like that Sam Raimi type of vibe. Uh, Sam Raimi's in it, so it's Ted Raimi and uh, Bruce Campbell. Yeah, this is a very good slashing movie with awesome special effects on it. Next up, we got this Full Moon Features catalog thing. My only complaint about this thing is that some of the artwork is not the original artwork. Like, like there is definitely some of the original artwork and stuff. But some of it's like the newer, updated stuff. So that's my only complaint. My favorite part of this is um, that it actually has all the uh, wizard video stuff. Like that awesome 80s artwork in there. And next up we got um, Jack the Ripper, which is a Jess Franco film. This is not also, like not originally a full moon movie, but it's being distributed by them. Next we got Laser Blast, which uh, Mark of Horror just sent me this. So thank you very much. So I watched about like two thirds of the movie and then I kind of dozed off. It was pretty late at night, but I was loving it. I'm going to watch the other, the last uh, third act. This was originally... Um, I think it was like Image Entertainment or something, but... Okay, now these ones are not Full Moon, but they're um, Wizard Video and Image Reanimator. was uh, produced by Charles Band. This movie is a classic. Alright, next up we got Mutant Hunt. This is a Wizard Video. Uh, pretty cool special effects in this. Um, I'm not positive, I think... There's a robot in this that they might have used in class in 1999, like the same exact prop, but I'm not sure. This is actually distributed by Lightning Video, but it is uh, Wizard Video. Uh, yeah, and Full Moon has this like as a uh, grindhouse release now, so I thought I'd show it. Like it's in this book and everything. Same with this one, Zombie Thon. It's a big box. And I found this back in like 2005 or something. Check out the logo. I love the artwork on this. Um, I watched some of this. It's basically it's just a clip show of like a bunch of zombie movies. Like Fulci Zombie and different zombies and stuff. Pretty cool. Awesome artwork. I love that. Now I don't really remember if um, Charles Band has anything to do with media. Like if media was a company that he produced. But I thought I'd show these anyways. We got Street Smart, which is a total canon movie, but it's got media on there, so I don't know. And then 2020 Texas Gladiators, which is, a, I believe it's Joe D'Amato directed this. They put a fake American name on there, but awesome. This is a very good post-apocalypse movie, but media put it out. So, and then also got The Dark. Haven't watched this. Um... Yeah. But media. Also got this one called The Clones that I just saw a lightning video. So I have no idea. Is that Charles Band? Someone let me know. So yeah. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. I also got some more Full Moon movies on the way. Uh, but that's for another video. Let me know what you think of these. This is Danny B. You're watching the Trash Dash. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace out.